So today I'm going to show you how to clean and oil the fingerboard to um, remove residue and rosin and if a student has, um, you know, just oils on their fingers or even makeup, it starts to build up and can cause the fingerboard to crack and um, the instrument to lose resonance. So this is just a general string maintenance. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a soft cloth um, like this. You're going to need some grade four zero of steel wool and I just, you know, can get this at Home Depot. Um, really cheap. You need some light key oil and I like using the needle point just because it's really precise. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of the steel wool and on, I don't know if you can see this, but on this particular horn, um, we've got little spots like that right there and you can see where someone has put um, markers marking all the positions. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Um, and I like to do it also on the strings because the string has rosin on it too, which makes it not vibrate as easily. And this is such a fine steel wool that it's not gonna break the string um, if you just gently rub it. So already we can see we're getting a lot of this gunk off. And it's much shinier compared to the other strings. Um, and that's just, oh, sorry. That's just because we got some rosin off of there. And I mean, you don't want to press too hard um, because you don't want to take the, the string off. Uh, any of the unwind the string at all. So we just have a little piece of steel wool, nothing, nothing big. Okay, and then make sure you also get the sides and the bottom because a lot of rosin at the bottom gathers at the bottom of the fingerboard. And um, on this one, there's a little bit of makeup on it. And um, this is just a beginner viola, if you're curious. And um, so I'm just gonna get that off a little bit. It's kind of like um, exfoliating, <laughs> if you were like exfoliating your skin or something. We're just getting all the rosin off. We're not taking wood off of the fingerboard at all. And blow away at that. So we got our first little scratch here. And now I'm taking it away. So if you remember, there was a white mark there and now it's gone. There's some white marks up here. And we're gonna take away those two. So you're just gonna gently rub the uh, steel wool back and forth. And if you want, if you're worried about the strings hurting, you can take off the strings. There's no problem doing that. But I just like to go ahead and just do it with the strings on there, um, just because it's a little faster. And we can see the white is going away. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll see you in a few minutes. So once you've finished um, taking off all the sticky residue and rosin off of the fingerboard and strings, I like to just do, um, just kind of blow over it to get all the um, steel wool particles off. That helps if you're a wind player. Um, okay, so next up is we're going to use our key oil. Now I recommend, go ahead, if you're afraid of you putting too much, um, just go ahead and put it on the cloth itself. So I'm gonna do that right now. And it should only take like, you know, squeeze for like about a second and that should give you enough oil to work with. And we're gonna take our little dime worth of oil and we're gonna go ahead and spread it on the wood. This is gonna help protect it from scratches and um, cracking, which it's really, really important. You'll see like we're getting dirt up with this. So this is also cleaning the wood as well. Um, and it's not weird uh, for the finger on the fingers, you know, the, the oil will be absorbed by the wood and you're going to wipe away all the excess. Man, that looks so much better. You see, we can no longer see where the position markers were. So for the next student, um, they can start fresh, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and oil the neck as well because um, this neck doesn't have varnish on it. 
cast varnish that's protected already, but this particular one doesn't, so we have had to put some oil on it. So we're gonna let this sit for one minute, and after that, we're gonna take the dry side of our cloth and go ahead and wipe it down. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, well, welcome back. So we've waited a minute, and now the oil is getting absorbed in there, and it's still very shiny and black. So now we're gonna wipe away the oil to um, just the excess. And at this point, the wood will be conditioned and will be good to go for a long while. And if you got some on the neck, don't forget to wipe down the neck. So there you have it. We just cleaned and oiled this thing, uh, <laughs> the fingerboard. So now that there is no more um, position markers and this just looks like a brand new fresh start instrument for any beginner.